guys, Susan here. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Tonight I have a an awesome, awesome tripod. If you are a camera fanatic, you have to get one of these. Uh, it is the K&F Concept. Um, it, it is... When I first saw this, oh, the things it can do... And, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's unbox this thing and I'll explain things to you as we go. Um, these cost about $120 on Amazon. I'll drop a link to them in the uh, description box below the video. Look at this thing. Comes with its own case. Yeah, that's all that's in the box. Comes with its own uh, carry case. Look how trim and, and uh, together that is. It has all kinds of things. Look at this. Okay. Let's get this out here. All right. The uh, handles clip together to make carrying it a breeze. There's not one slipping away from the other. It's one handle. So you just pull that apart and separate them. Okay. We have... Big zipper on the top, big, big uh, pulls, so it's very easy to open. And of course, it's brand new, so it comes wrapped in plastic inside that. Okay, you won't need to carry the plastic with you, but there you go. And in the bottom is a shoulder strap with a padded section for your shoulder, and that clips onto the uh, clips down here on either end so you can sling it over your shoulder and just carry it like that if you need hands-free option. Okay, let's put that back in there. Ta-da! Okay, back you go on the chair. We've seen you. Now, look at this beauty. Oh, okay, plastic's got to go. There we go. Wow, look at this thing. Um, it is a combination of metal and plastic. Uh, this is actually the bottom. Ta -da! Go like so, and like so. There we go. Wow. All right. Spread them wide out like that. Wow. Okay. I don't know if you can see this, but look at that. That is like orange. Looks like an anodized aluminum. Um, it is really pro looking. Um, okay, let's start with this here. Let's look at the legs first. Okay, they are um, telescoping legs. They do have grooves in them so they don't twist around. You know those round legs can twist as you're extending them. These are grooved so they'll stay straight and it helps with the rigidity I'm sure. These clips for the leg extensions are plastic. So mind how you uh, slam them around. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, especially in um, colder weather. I would assume they would um, be more fragile in cold. But the bottom of the legs have points on them for stability. Like especially in... Um, uses on ground surfaces um, that would help stabilize the tripod which is a must if you have an expensive camera sitting on top of it. Uh, they are able to adjust the rubberized feet if you are in a say a hardwood floor situation you can submerge these points 
to below the rubberized footing. So all you'd have is rubber contacting your hardwood floors so you wouldn't hurt them. Which is awesome. So that that's one uh, uh, varying factor that, that can give you more situations um, to uh, customize. Okay, there is a collar and you just simply up and down. There is no ratcheting, no nothing. You just put it in the position you want it and secure the collar to hold it there. Okay. Um, the head, a unit here, has a removable uh, quick connect um, piece on it that you put on the bottom of your camera to give you quick access to take the camera on and off the tripod. So what you do is you loosen loosen this base off here with this knob and this will slide right out. Okay? Same thing. Put it back on, slide it in and tighten it down when your camera is in position. Okay? On the top there is a, a measurement scale and a level. Bubble. It's a bubble to keep you level. Um, this will help you if you have to move your camera to a certain degree. You can move it and remember where it was on the marking and return it to the same position. Now, on with this lever on the side, you free up the ball mount, which gives you all of these angles to position your camera in, which is phenomenal. How many tripods have we used that are just flat or like this? And that's it. <laughs> that's all you get. This has a ball socket on the top, which gives you multitude of positions, which is, it's amazing. And this is all metal. The uh, head unit is metal. Um, most of the um, toggles and things are plastic. The top of these legs are plastic, but the clamps here and the part they click into, that's all metal. So all the parts that you're going to see wear and tear on generally are solid and metal, so you're going to be assured of quality. Uh, this is the K and F concept, KF-28 model, right there on the head, okay? Um, this also has another ability, which is amazing, uh, which is what sold us on these tripods. One of the things that sold us on the tripods. Um, on the bottom, you'll see a spring-loaded hook. So if you want to uh, maintain cable control, keep them out of the shot, keep it centered right below the tripod, um, or anything you need to hang off of there, it, it will just clip up into space and do it. Okay, so you undo, there. try and do this on camera. This is a spring-loaded uh, connection on the bottom, okay, like so, there you go, there's a spring on there. And it screws into the base. So you leave. You take the ring off, actually. Okay. You can pull the whole thing out of the unit. Let me undo this. Come on. There we go. 
Okay, so this can now go, get this, upside down, guys. <laughs> you can actually mount your camera upside down on the tripod. There we go. Upside down on the tripod. And then, of course, you put this back on. Put this back on here, which helps hold it on in this position because it won't go through the collar now. Okay. Do that back up. And now your camera is hanging upside down on the bottom of this. And you can get at lower um, level photography. So if you want to take a beautiful picture of a flower, instead of bending down from the top, you can <coughs> mount your camera underneath like this and get close up, right side up, and shoot that flower perfectly. So, uh, this is, this is great. <laughs> this is unbelievable. But we're not done yet. Okay. So we'll take this back away here. I'm going to mount it back the way it was to start with. Do this. I know. It's like watching paint dry, right? <laughs> this is only because I'm first time trying this like we just got these so um, I am just getting used to how to maneuver with this thing I'm sure once I get used to doing this it's going to come much easier so we have our head unit again with the major post the main post and what we do is there is this one is marked this leg is marked detachable monopod. There's a release. You go left. To lock it goes right. So to release it, you turn left, unscrew it from the metal collar area, right? So you see where it's coming from? Okay. Now the rest of the tripod can get put aside. And what you do, you screw this on here. Okay. What you're doing is giving this a foot for the pull. So if you need a monopod to get that perfect shot, and they have little... Um, o-ring collars to uh, cushion things on the joints. If you need a, a monopod you can get all the extension you need in a single leg and this thing can get tall guys. It says seven feet on the box. Like you can't even see the top of that. It's up here. I'm 5'2", and this is up here, okay? So this is great for anybody. I will use the shorter version of it. <laughs> but if you are 6 foot, whatever, um, and you need something taller, this is the perfect one, okay? Um, so let's shrink this down a little. <laughs> Back to my size, please. Um, there is a padded... Uh, covering on this this one leg which makes it easy to control and uh, use so we have all the functionality still of the head unit but with only one leg so um, this I am looking forward to using this because I will be able to move my camera in positions and directions that I have not been able to other than handheld, right? This gives you the security and stability of a tripod in 
whatever manner you need to hold it in. So oh, these are great. Currently, what my camera is sitting on right now is a slick U8000. Okay, this tripod that I'm using right now has such a big footprint. In order to stabilize the tripod, all three legs are out fully extended and it is taking up quite the footprint, okay? Which limits where you can set it up. If you don't have, if you're cramped quarters, you may not be able to do that with the current one I'm using. This one, let's put this one back together. This one will do that and more with uh, no troubles whatsoever. Okay, so we put this back on. And remember, it's right to lock it back on. So turn right and it's back on the tripod. And then you simply need to put this back through the right way up. Okay, and then put this on the bottom to lock it in, and secure it with the cap that is spring-loaded. <coughs> okay. Again, it's taking me longer because this is my first time using it. Once I've used it a while, I'm going to be so fast at this. Okay. So, what we'll do is here, lock it at its tallest position there. And that is the maximum space of those three legs in full extension. Okay? So, in reality, that's that's as far as they go. Now, even if you extend them, they are going to stay tight like that. Okay? Let's see. Forgot one down here. Ah. And then we take these three and lock them down. And it is still a smaller footprint than my current one, and it is reaching taller than my current one. This one is almost maxed out. Uh, I'd say maybe the tops is six feet. This this thing goes to seven. <laughs> I won't use it up here, but I could, right? I could technically, I could get a ladder, set it beside it, do all my focusing and stuff, take the shot from there and get a bigger area, like a wide angle lens. I could get so panoramic shots from up there. Um, you need an elevator, not a ladder. I, yeah, well, <laughs> I was trying to be nice. Okay, he says, you need an elevator, not a ladder. Uh, funny guy. Uh, anyway, so I am so impressed with this already. This is not a review in any way. I have not used it in real situations yet. Um, but the quality build, oh. And we have been looking at tripods out there and the prices are scary. Some of them are truly scary. <laughs> and they're really junky too. And they're and they're junky. They're they're less quality for more money. And it's like we came across this one, we saw a video of it being demonstrated, and it was like, no man, that is cool. We have to get that. So this is now gonna be in my personal kit. 
And the other tripod can be as reserved for if something happens ever to this one <laughs> and I have to wait for a replacement. Yeah. Um, it comes with a little book and an Allen key to tighten up the uh, shoulder joints here uh, periodically because as things, you know, uh, fold and unfold, things can loosen. So they give you an Allen key with it that fits exactly and you can just snug them up keep everything secure stable and uh, I love the color everything of this thing um, but it gives you a basic uh, manual kind of feely looks like it's all in Chinese no no there is an English side here tripod use manual see and then there is a Chinese side. Um, but it basically lays out for you just how functional this is and all the positions it can go in and all the features that are built into this wonderful thing. Um, yep. Don't use below minus 40 degrees Celsius or higher than a hundred. Um, avoid high temperature environments such as long on the inside or glass or like don't don't subject it to excess heat or cold. Um, that goes with you too, right? You don't want to be hot or cold either. So uh, anyway, so that is all I have for you tonight. That was just a brief overview of this wonderful new tripod and all its features. And uh, I'll be back later with a review after I've used it for some time in real life situations. And I can tell you just how it reacted, how it's holding up, etc. And what kind of rating I would give it out of five. But right now, this is just <laughs> looking at it. <laughs> Excuse me, K and F Concept S210. So, uh, yeah, KF28 is on the head. So I don't know whether that's part numbers or <laughs> that's the head unit type or what exactly, but those are the numbers that I'm seeing. So I will put a link in the description box below for where you can find one for yourself on Amazon. Um, we are in Canada, so we're using Amazon.ca. But what you can do is you can look it up on .ca, copy uh, the title, and paste it into the .com site and see if it comes up for you uh, for .com or what. But I am totally amazed with this. This is this is such an awesome little thing. Um, I love the colors. They're vibrant. They're they're trendy. They're new. And uh, the latches are all uh, very uh, secure. And you can move the legs in any position. Okay? Any position you need, it'll lock it into. So you can put one up against a wall if that's where you need to brace it. And put the other two freestanding. Uh, this thing will pretty much move anywhere you need it to. And keep your expensive DSLRs like mine uh, very safe and secure. So... That's all I got for you tonight. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.